study from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention with an alarming new statistic. Infant mortality rose 3% across the United States last year, the largest increase in two decades. Kellen Buddy joins us in studio with more on that story. And good morning, Kellen, what can you tell us? Yeah, there's no one root cause for that sudden spike, but healthcare professionals here in mid-Michigan tell me they're also seeing increases in maternal complications. In pregnancy, a lot has to go right for that baby to have a healthy first year. We know that's not always possible. It's hard for medical professionals to pin down just one major cause of infant deaths. A maternal fetal specialist at Sparrow Hospital tells me sometimes a mother may not be able to carry a baby to full term, which might cause some issues. We're also seeing more and more moms that are, that are sicker um, getting pregnant and having more complications. So the big driver, I think, in the increase in infant mortality is the increase in our preterm delivery rate. So by delivering babies earlier, then there's complications with prematurity. And, and some of that is you know, spontaneous preterm labor. Some of it are indicated preterm deliveries due to severe maternal disease. Another factor is a correlation between infant deaths and a rise in cases of flu or RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. That trend showing after a couple of years of precautions from the COVID pandemic. A gynecologist with McLaren says physicians are trying to encourage mothers to keep up to date with their vaccinations to help take care of their babies during pregnancy and infancy. Right after um, there was an increase and we noted that as well too. And, you know, just changes in the public's eye and view of vaccines for new ones and newborns. Uh, that's something that we work with. Um, I'm an ob guy and we work with that quite a bit with moms and talking to them and educating them. So we know that that's a challenge for a lot of people um, after that time period. But I think it makes sense uh, that those things are on the rise again. And that's going to unfortunately cause a lot of uh, infant deaths, which we otherwise could have maybe avoided. And right now, experts say they can't figure out why exactly that number has gone up when it's usually decreasing and has done so gradually since the start of the 21st century. The best way to keep both mother and baby healthy is to seek that prenatal care that starts as soon as you know you're pregnant. Thank you, Kellen. Other causes for infant death that have increased include bacterial meningitis.